welcome to the Dazwell Beats channel. I'm Dazwell Beats. Today we'll be doing. I'm showing y'all another free VST that I liked. I had it for years, but when I had my issue with my computer when it was going down, it got deleted. All my instruments got deleted, and I forgot stuff that I had because I had so many VSTs. I had them throughout the years. I've been getting VST throughout the years, right? So this one I remembered it and i went back to look for it it wasn't there so i had to go back and i'm gonna show y'all the steps how to get it how to sign up for it how to install it i'm gonna show y'all all that in this video right so it's the sign player man let's go let's get it i'll show you it's dope they have paid and they have free all right they have some free stuff and they have paid stuff and this stuff is sounds so good all right i like it and I'm going to give y'all an extra tip in the video. All right. So make sure y'all stay to the end. The extra tip. You don't want to miss it. All right. So let's go. Let's get it, man. As always. Let's go. Turn it up. Oh, by the way, this video is not sponsored at all. I'm just giving y'all free stuff that I see that I like. And it's compatible with the MPC software. Because not every VST is compatible with it. All right. So let's go, man. Let's get it. All right, so here we go. We had um, orchestral tools right now website. So you'll go here orchestral tools.com Then you go to home when you home you'll go to get sign First you want to create your account just create your account It's free by the way You want to create your account first because after you install it and you um, open up in the software is going to ask you for the email and the password that you create your account with so you need that created password and you need that email account see the new player for your favorite instrument is free you just go right here go to windows click windows and it will download up here right once it's download let's open it i accept next I don't put my stuff in um, on my C drive. I never install nothing on my C drive. Always install it on like a, a SSD external drive. You can't see it, but it's up there, right? So that's where I normally install my stuff. So let's go there. All right. So first, let me open up my E drive. Install here. Let me put a new folder in here called Sign Player. All right. So that's where we go install it at. So never install anything on your C drive, right? You go to browse and we're going to find that folder on my e-drive that's where i install all my vst install here uh sign player right here okay next remember the mpc software does not allow vst3 so we'll uncheck that uncheck the aax and we just want the sign player the vst version right this one and we can leave the standalone on so then we hit next the VST folder for um for my VST. That's the same folder that I just created. E installed now. Let's find it. The sign player. Right there. Next. 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 Hold on. Let's go back. Let's create a desktop version. Next. Install. So once it's finished install, we'll come back right here and I'll show you what's going on. Alright. So let's go to um let's hit finish. The sign player came up, right? So now you just enter that email and password that you created when you create your account, all right? So that way when you download the the free instruments, it'll go straight there, all right? So let's go ahead and put your information in. All right, so now we're in. I've been had the sign player, um, but remember I had computer issue. My computer was uh, messing up and it like everything got deleted out of it. This got deleted out of it, so I'm bringing it back up. So I already had some stuff already in there. All right, so this is how you third party website. Right here. Just accept that. Uh, welcome to sign. Get started. Y'all can watch this if y'all want to. Skip this. So right now I have all these already. Cause remember, like I said, I already had it, and all these are free instruments. Sound good. I like them. All right, so let's download this one see it's trying to put it on my c drive we don't want it on our c drive so let's just put it in the e all right and then let's do start download let's open up the e and see where it's putting it at okay orchestral tools so it put it created it right there for me all right all right so here we go now it's installing the brass from the layers then it's going to install this and keep installing them right so while is while that's going on let's just go ahead to the mpc software let's go to file uh 
edit preference plugins scan new because remember i put it in my e now let's find that we could type it up here sign orchestral tool sign player here go right here so this is what it looked like all right so we still got stuff up here remember this one let's close this we still got stuff installing so we got to wait until everything is installed we can always go back to the website free instruments and here go all the instruments that you can download that's free and they all sound good man all right they got felt pianos they got jazz flutes they got ukulele ukulele they got electric pianos they got all types of stuff all right just check it out it's free man i'm gonna let y'all hear what it sound like next all right there we go so you'll have to wait till the desktop version once you open up the desktop version or you probably could do it in here too my license yeah you could do it in the in the in the v, in the vst too go to my license and wherever your stuff is at see it says downloaded now this one say download that means it's not installed yet so you just go through whatever license you have remember i showed you how to get it you could go to the um the desktop version or you could go to the um store right here inside the vst they have paid paid stuff too and they have free stuff so you can get paid stuff or you can get free stuff see this one is paid so you can either go there or you can either come to the website and download the free go to the free instruments and just download the free instruments from here all right so let's go back to the mpc and let's hear what it sound like We can delete all these if we want to. Let me see if I remember how to delete them. Clear list. You'll come to here, this cogwheel, and just hit clear list, and it'll clear everything from over there. So let's do this uh, right here. Say we want a brass added to that. You go to one so now they both playing so i'm adding the string and the brass remember o1 and o1 or you can do omni i like to do o1 and o1 right if this was on o2 you won't hear this playing the reason you won't hear this playing because if it's on midi channel one if i change this right here from midi channel one to midi channel two then you'll hear the brass if I change this back to MIDI channel 1, then you'll hear the string. So since this is on 1, if we put both of these on 1, you hear both of them at the same time. That's with any VST that had, you can add two sounds. Any VST, Contact, uh, the UVI, um, Omnisphere, um, anything that can add multiple instances of sounds, you can do it like that. So now we got a string and we got a brass. If you want to add something else, let's add a woodwind. Let's say this right here. Let's just add a right here. See, once I add it, it went to two. Now if I play it, it's only the string and the brass playing. But if I switch this, go to the number and switch it to a one. Now it's playing all three of them. Listen. Now since all of them is on one, if I switch this to two, then you won't hear no sound. Because there's nothing on my MIDI channel two. Now if I move all these to two, and leave this on two, now you'll hear it. All right, so that right there, 
that's an extra tip i wasn't even planning on showing y'all that i was just giving y'all the free vst but that's an extra tip right there all right so let's go man let's get it as always this is the free vst is a signed player let's go man let's get it all right catch you all in the next one peace and we out